Hello, uh, we're going to try a problem involving um, effective phase difference, in which means we have two uh, rays of light that are going through different media, uh, different optical of uh, different optical uh, density. Uh, it's a problem that uh, students have encountered in the past that have been troublesome. It's actually fairly simple, uh, when at least when you understand. So I'm not going to say that anymore. Um, if you're new, you can feel free to subscribe to other uh, videos involving Physics 1, Physics 2, um, from Algebra Base and Calculus Base. Just a little plug in there. I've already identified the given here by underlining in red. I also wrote it here just to save time. Whoops. And what we're looking for, the phase difference, uh, it also gives us the answer too, and the uh, formula. Um, <clears throat> forgive me, still recovering from a cold. Um, I need to explain something here that the units that this ends up with it does cancel out because we have like essentially a unit of um, these are unitless and it ends up in units of length over length or meters over meters um, but this is not radians this is actually in terms of wavelengths okay in order to convert wavelengths into our radians, you're going to have to multiply this by 2 pi. And there's also something that means uh, that, that effective phase difference means especially. Um, because when you have a difference of uh, 1 or 0.5, then you're actually getting constructive and destructive interference, as hopefully you discussed in class. So let's go ahead and plug this in and let's see what we get. Plugging in, make sure you write the correct powers of 10. You're actually going to get a 10 to the power of 7 on the bottom and then indices of refraction. Cancels out. I like red. And you end up with 1.6. Now I'm going to write down the units in red. Okay. Now when you have a, uh, what do I call this? And you have a difference of 1.6 wavelengths, practically um, 1.0 wavelength. means that they're in phase. How do I know that? Because that means actually 2 pi or 2 pi rads or 360 degrees or even it could be 0. No, it's actually 360. Um, so the effective phase difference is minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to use that in 2 minus n star. Once again, that is still wavelengths. And to get effective phase difference, multiply that. Actually, you kind of convert that into uh, radian per wavelength, really. Wavelength. Sorry. Okay. And then you will get the answer of 3.7 radians. And there we go. Now, the key thing here is this. If you did not know, uh, whoops what effective phase difference means, or the understanding of um, how interference works, then you have no idea how to do this, or you will not get the right answer. Very tricky, but simple trick. Once you know it, uh, you can go back and try this one again. Okay? Good luck. Enjoy.